Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Well, we're going shopping, which is not anything different, but we're gonna go to a sample sale. Some of you guys that follow me on Instagram, and if you aren't following me, then you really should, know that one of the ways I get designer items for less is through sample sales. Specifically, one sample sale, like I guess like, organization that I go to the most is 260 sample sale. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. Today they have three sample sales going on. They have the Love Shack Fancy sample sale, which if you don't know Love Shack Fancy, they have lots of like girly, feminine, romantic um, type of like clothes. And then there's also the um, Tamara Mellon. She's a shoe designer and the shoe prices are pretty good. So I want to take a look at those. And then they have a multi-brand event in Soho that's going to be multiple designers. So they have Gucci, YSL, um, Alexander Wang, several others. But I'm not going to be going to that one because that one, the line looked crazy and I just need to maximize my time. The Lux Shack Fancy and the Tamara Mellon ones are right across from each other. So I think that's going to be my best bang for my buck. So let's go. And of course, if you're new here, my name is Shanae and I am the creator behind Original Flavor. Original Flavor is your one-stop shop if you like luxury fashion, style, and beauty, especially for less. If you like those things, then you belong here. Welcome! guys I'm waiting for the train and I just want to make this disclaimer I'm a New Yorker born and raised but lately I have found the train to be the most disgusting thing in the world like literally the only reason why I take it is because sometimes it's quicker in order to get to places I need to versus driving and also they make it so impossible for anybody to park in the city otherwise I would be in my car even with the gas prices I just cannot it's like disturbing that's a little segue. just got from the sale well I just left the sale well I also used the bathroom right after but I'm on my way back home I'm super excited I got two pairs of shoes that I think are definitely amazing normally tomorrow melon I think her shoes from what I've seen are like they're pretty expensive like they're 500 600 700 but each pair I got was about $75 um, so it's definitely a steal and I got some pieces that I think that I'm going to have for a while in my collection so 
Can't wait to show you guys a closer look at them. size frame because my face is kind of big so I feel like it really like just it just goes because I feel like when I wear frames that are smaller I feel like it just makes my face look bigger if you get what I mean I don't know what do you guys think so I'm back home after our little adventure I apologize for my undone face, but I was not going to put on makeup to go put a mask on to get on the subway to go in store to wear a mask for, yeah, it just wasn't going to happen. So I've come as I am nursing, but I have waited that long before in the past. Um, just depending on the popularity of the sale and I feel like the popular sales that also happen to be in Soho tend to be, I feel like the line is always like crazy. Um, what else can I say? So be prepared to wait, so wear comfortable shoes, and you know, decide beforehand if this this that particular sale is one that you're willing to shop for and willing to will shop for. If you're and decide in advance if that particular sale is one that you're willing to wait for. Because you also have to take into account that even though it's a sample sale, some of the some of the sales are actual samples and some of the sales are just overstock or old product from previous seasons. So when you're going there, the prices you know, sometimes they're really great discounts and sometimes they're things that you could find comparable online. So that's just something to take into account. So what I like to do is if it's a brand that I'm really interested in, I like to look online to see what the sales are already looking at. And then I like to look at the price list because usually 260 sample sale, if you follow them on, on Instagram, will share what the price, the current price list is for the sample sale. And just compare because remember, you're going to spend your time waiting in line. So if you're only going to save $10 by going in person, it might not be worth it. So definitely take that into account. Also, I would highly recommend signing up for a 260 sample sales email list as well as following them on Instagram so you can stay on top of what's going on. That's how I always stay up to date with what's happening. Um, what else can I tell you? They, yep, yeah, I think that's pretty much most things. Like I said, you're gonna have to wait in line whether it's warm or cold, just taking that into account. They don't have any bathrooms in their thing and their actual establishments, so you're gonna have to use a bathroom somewhere else if that is something that you want to take into account. Yeah. Otherwise, it's usually very organized. They have coat check, or they require you do coat check when you come in, um, and it's pretty safe. I've never had any issues doing the coat check. Occasionally, like if your bag is bigger, usually you'll check it in. But if you have a smaller bag, they won't ask you to. It just depends on who's there that day, in my opinion or my experience. And let's talk about the sale. So originally I was planning to go to the Love Shack Fancy and the Tamara Melon sale. However, I decided to just go to Tamara Melon when I got there. I just did some thinking and I was just like, to be honest, I don't want to waste more of my day to wait in line for more than one sale. I already know that Love Shack Fancy, as far as the dresses go and like the style of the dresses, it's not particularly like my taste or something that I feel like is very flattering on my body type or just like my overall aesthetic so is it really worth it plus I only really wanted a sweater so I guess that's something I could look for online and save my time and the pain in my feet of standing in line waiting for the sale I also really have been wanting to invest in better shoes so I've always been more when it comes to luxury items been more of like a proponent of going towards luxury bags however I've been trying to up my shoe game a little bit like I don't really believe in spending too much money in shoes but definitely shoes that I feel like are standout well made and that I can have for the test of time but also are going to be comfortable for my feet. So I've heard so many great things about Tamara Mellon so when I went there one of the things that made me feel like I definitely was on the right path is that Everybody in the line was a little bit older and they look like, you know, the type of older ladies that got some coin. So if they're waiting in line for this, then I know it's good quality. So when we got inside, 
I, so in total, I waited about probably 50 minutes from when the first group went inside and then when I was able to go and shop. They gave us about a half hour to look around, try on shoes and shop. We were able to try on. And if it's a clothing sale, you are able to try on. You just have to try on over your clothes. And I think they might have opened up the, the dressing rooms. But to be honest, they only give you a 30 minute window for most of these sample sales, like the first couple of days when it's crowded. So I don't know if I would recommend... Um, taking your time to try on unless you just really want to try it on I would just wear clothes that are close fitting like leggings and like a tank top and be able to put the clothing items you're trying on over it and they allow that that's perfectly fine so when you go inside they had all the shoes lined up so of course as the sample sales go they're, they're it's a gamble so the earlier you get there you get the first picks which is really great but also, if you wait towards the end of the week of the sample sale, they will do discounts. So it's all up to you what's like you know what kind of risk you want to take. For this one, the sale prices were really great, so I was fine with paying the the set price for the opening day. Normally, tomorrow melon her shoes from what I researched are about like eight hundred nine hundred dollars. For this sale, the actual pumps or heels were all $75 and the actual sandals were $65. So that's excellent. So you're already getting like what? Like, okay, I'm not going to do the math, but you're getting a, a substantial discount. So why not, you know, I'm not going to take any chance, especially knowing that I wear a very common size. So the sizes I wear in European shoes can range from 38 all the way to 39. It just depends on the cut of the shoe. I do have very, very, very wide feet. So sometimes I prefer to size up just so I don't have my feet feeling like crunched in and then because of covid well not because of covid but during covid i gained some weight so my feet have kind of spread a little bit so those are just some things i take into account so when it came to looking at the shoes they were all like you know lined up in their boxes on the tables and then they had the different workers that were able to pull different sizes for you if they were available but being that i came later in the afternoon a lot of the good sale a lot of the good sizes were gone for some of the shoes but that's okay because i got two amazing picks Super excited. I tried on several shoes, as you guys would have seen previously, but some of them, like I said before, they weren't wide enough for the toe box. So with my feet, because they're super wide, if I'm wearing like heels or like some type of mules and they have that one little like line here at the front where your toes sit, because my feet are so wide, it kind of just pushes against it and it just really hurts. So I wasn't able to wear those. But I did successfully find two shoes in my size that were beautiful and definitely the vibe I'm going for. As you guys are aware right now, the dressy shoes with casual outfits is definitely a vibe. So you probably have seen it more with like the Manolo Blahniks Hangisis or the um, Maka Mak shoes or the um, Amina Moadis. People are wearing like the way them dressed up, but they also wear them with like denim and a white top. So that's definitely a vibe I'm looking for. I actually was just looking at a pair of Amina Moadis, thinking about saving up for a pair for my birthday. However, I think I got my fix and I'm going to show you guys what I got. This is what the box looks like. It's very luxe, giving the luxury vibes. It's like a red or like a red wine snakeskin box. Love it. I definitely had to keep it. So we're going to open it up. And then put it backwards right there. It says Tamar Melon. Very nice. It's packaging, packaged really nicely. It's also her logo on the paper. A true luxury experience. And I like when you go to sample sales and it's like older products that they're selling on the sale because you're able to get the whole entire package, usually like all the packaging, the dust bag, all of that. So we have our red dust bag. It only came with one in this box. I don't know if that is how it was supposed to be because I like when both my sh I like when each of my shoes have their own dust bags because especially with satin and crystals and stuff I don't like for things rubbing against each other because that could cause damage especially like if you're traveling and here is my first shoe it is in this beautiful kind of like turquoise teal type of satin this is the heel it's about four inches I think I got this in a size 38 and a half, which is pretty much my size. Like I said before, when it comes to like these straps in the front, they can be problematic for my feet, especially because they're so wide. So I like that the toe is separate and then you have this extra space here. So that was very accommodating for my wide foot. You have the Tamara Melon. You have the satin, like I said before. You have the leather that's on the other side. Really beautiful, the PVC. And you have your crystals. 
Looking at the shoe up close, it is well made, well structured. I'm really excited, really comfortable. Let me show you the next pair. So my next pair of shoes is in my favorite color. And those of you guys who know, know what color that is. And if you don't, pink. I like pink. Pink. Okay, I'm not gonna sing. But yes, look at these. These are so beautiful. So once again, this is another pair in satin, which the satin, I'm gonna be honest, really is kind of like a little scary to me, a little intimidating, because I know how sensitive it is. You can't get it wet. So I just have to be very careful with the forecast when I decide to wear them. But it's the same situation where you have the leather sole, you have the satin, you have the crystals, you have the leather on the inside of the band. These are once again at 38 and a half. So I guess I know my tomorrow melon. I know my tomorrow melon size, which is a 38 and a half. Okay, so when I saw these, I automatically thought of the Jimmy Choo shoes. I'll put up a, a video here or here of them. But these look very much like them, where it's like the crystal backing and then the crystal down here. It's not exactly the same, but it's very, very, very similar. Those cost $1,000. These cost me $75. Gotta get with it. So like the same thing I said before with the other pair of shoes, I am planning to wear it more casually just because as you guys may or may not know, I am a more casual dresser because I don't have many places to dress up to. I don't dress up to work. I work in a hospital. I wear scrubs. And in addition to that, I don't go out like, like to the clubs anymore really. If I do go out like that's something more social, it's going to be like an influencer event or it's going to be like brunch. So those don't really require me to get too dressy and I just prefer a good denim look nowadays and these I could definitely see popping perfectly for the spring and I cannot wait to wear them. So like I said before each pair was $75 and also now that I'm looking at my receipt they did not charge any tax just five cents for the paper bag and I think that I did well. So $150 for two pair of luxury shoes that are statements that are classics that I will have in my wardrobe so I think that's great. As you guys know, I am a fan of luxury for less. I rarely ever pay full price for anything luxury just because why? It's going to go on sale at some point. The only things I will pay full price for are items that I know for a fact are not going to go on sale, go on sale like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. Well, Chanel does go on sale, but that's a little bit rarer. But anyways, for items that will not go on sale, and then even if they don't go on sale, I usually would try my best to do the pre-loved option just because... I don't see the point in spending three, two, three, two or three times the amount for something that I can get almost brand new for half, you know, 75% of the price. It's just the math is just not mathing. So I highly recommend checking out sample sales in order to find luxury for less. It's a really great option. There's so many different ones. There's 260 sample sale. There's Eclipse. If you're in New York, there's an app called Pulse that you can download, um, um the app and then it tells you about different events going on in the city and they will also post sample sales there if you watched my valentino vlog you would have seen that and then also i have i have two blog posts that are talking about luxury for less tips as well as um sample sale tips so definitely read those below if you're interested i will link them below so guys that concludes my blog it was actually very impromptu my day did not turn out how i thought it was going to but it turned out perfect perfectly imperfect how, however you want to take it i had a great time when i'm stressed shopping is definitely one of my therapies retail therapy is my drug of choice and i think that's better than lots of other things i could be doing so i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think of the shoes i got let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want to see an overall like top 260 sample um, sample sale pieces I've scored. Like which ones are my favorites. Let me know if you're interested. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. So what's your